Talbot adores this one. Adored. I'm having trouble switching tenses. You understand? Why did you do it? Talbot never harmed you. You loved him more than anyone. So he had to die. I'm about to put an end to your insignificant existence. This is not the time to be obscure. A thousand years ago, you brought your wolves among the Vikings to butcher a human family. My family. Apparently you wanted my father's crown for your vast collection of meaningless shit. <laughs> my, my. To lose the one man I ever loved because you miss your mommy and daddy? Well, that is a kick in the pants. And there are consequences. Even for Russell Edgington. Life is absurd. <laughs> Still. I'm excited to destroy you. My loved ones are dead, and now Talbot is dead. We're even. Don't beg for mercy. It's such a bore. I couldn't help but notice your expanding ambitions. You're after the whole world now, aren't you? Well, I can help you get it. Eric, you are nothing more than a lump of muscle with a blood grudge. You got lucky. You couldn't possibly comprehend what I'm after. We should begin. I can offer you the sun. Oh, day walking. Oh, the old myth. That was around when I was turned. You're pathetic. It's not a myth, not at all. There have been recent advances. It's been done. Go on. Spin your little fairy tale. I will show you how to do it. Uh, now tell me, you don't want it? I never said I didn't want it. That's the ultimate vampire dream, isn't it? No one could stand against me. You would be in a bone row. If I'm wrong, kill me tomorrow. <laughs> Clever boy <laughs> to tempt me. Not a good time. No shit. Bill and Sookie escaped and Yvette had cleaned out the cash. Ow. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was dug in there real good. Can I get you something to make you feel better? I need a drink. <laughs> ah! 